Uh, just first off, uh, just so proud of our team. Um, you know, it wasn't our cleanest game. We, we turned the ball over. We certainly had some special teams miscues. That might be as hard as I've ever had a football team play for 60 minutes. Uh, the competitiveness, uh, it was just uh, an outstanding effort. And, uh, and first off, NC State's a really good football team. Uh, you know, that was, that was a, a really a great football game, a high-level game against two really good teams, a lot of great players, and it came down to really the final play. And, uh, you know, so I have a lot of respect for Dave and his staff and their football team. Um, and at the same time, I'm, I'm really proud of our guys that we found a way to win. Uh, and, uh, you know, what, what a night. I mean, just to have all the students and all the fans rush the field, to have a packed house. Uh, it was a big time college football game and, and it was a big time environment. And, and again, what a great job by our students, uh, our fans, um, and everybody who showed out and, and even the NC State fans, they were, they were great and added to the atmosphere. Uh, but it took a complete, complete team effort to win that game. And, uh, you know, our, our defense played a lot better than the score would indicate. You know, a lot of those points were off of the kickoffs and short fields. And, uh, you know, just uh, it's, it's fun to play in games like this. And it's even more fun to win them. So proud of our guys. Uh, but we got work ahead of us. And uh, we'll enjoy this one. And then we got to we got ahead to Clemson next week. Well, you, you know, at, at first last they scored and got two, and we were up three, and. You're kind of thinking you got to play with normal tempo because if you don't score and they score, you want to have time, you know, you want to have time to come back. And then once we got it inside of four minutes, um, at that point, we started bleeding the clock. And we are pretty much going to say that we are either going to win it or lose it on that drive. And, uh, you know, I thought our offensive line did a heck of a job. I mean, we didn't run the ball very consistently all day, but that last drive, uh, we, we really made some, some tough runs against some really good run surfaces. And I just thought our, our O-line kind of took over at the end there. Oh, Josh, you know, I don't like to go. I mean, every ACC game we play in my mind is a championship game, you know, so we knew that, uh, you know, to, to win the Atlantic, that this was a really critical game. And, you know, we were first and they were second in the standings. And if we didn't win this game, then we, we needed help. Uh, and I view next week as a championship game. Uh, you know, we have a chance to, to clinch the Atlantic and Clemson is still in the running. Uh, and so there's, I believe, still three teams that could still win the Atlantic and we're one of them. So these are all championship games. And, you know, it wasn't the championship game, but a championship game. Yeah, we got a little banged up at the slot and we had to put Taylor Marin in there and he really played well and, um, you know, a Torian had the touchdown, but we, we dropped a lot of balls tonight. I, I think we dropped more balls tonight than I can ever remember us dropping and I don't know if it was, you know, the, the weather or anxiety or, or what it was, but, you know, I, I certainly don't feel like we played a very good offensive game tonight. Um, even though we scored 45 points. I mean, we, we certainly moved the ball at the end, but, you know, we just, we weren't as clean as we usually are. And, you know, we threw picks. Uh, we threw three picks, which is unusual for Sam. But when we had to make plays at the end, those guys made it. And I, I really thought Donald Stewart stepped up 
it made some really big plays for us. Uh, Brandon Chapman made some huge plays, one for a touchdown and two for third down conversions. Um, and, you know, Justice Ellison, the catch that he had for the touchdown on a hot read was a really heads up play. Yeah, I'm proud of them. Um, again, that that's a good football team, and we knew it was going to go four quarters. And you know, whenever you play a team the caliber of NC State, even when you get ahead, you never feel safe. You're not going to pull away from them. They're too good. They're too talented. They're too well coached. Dave, how concerned are you about the health of your team, considering how many guys went down? What can you tell us about Rovers? Uh, I, I mean, I'll know more tomorrow or Monday, Josh. It's just after a game, you, you really don't know until the doctors have a chance to look at them the next day. So, you know, I'm always concerned, but it's week 11 in a college football season. There aren't too many teams right now that are healthy. Go ahead, go ahead, Les. Well, with, with Kalen and Gavin down, you know, his role stepped up, and I thought J.J. did a great job. He really, you know, we moved him from nickel to corner this week, and he picked it up, and, and he had a great week of practice. He was very intentional, uh, very focused, and, uh, you know, I think he played really well, did a great job for us. Anything else for Coach? All right. Th thanks. Yep. See you on Tuesday. Thank you.